In the 1960s and the 1970s, punk rock was a revolutionary, angry, do-it-yourself type music that attacked conformity and the social class system of the era. While reactions to punk rock were mixed, the reforms it ignited were a multitude of new music genres and changes in the industry. With this more diverse job opportunities after World War II, more homes had a two-person income. With both parents working, people in general had more money. This contributed to the social class division that infuriated punks so much. The music industry was becoming monotonous in the 60s. Recording studios were pushing the same thing over and over, calculated for profit. The music was all heavily produced and played by neatly dressed, attractive young men. Punk rock was near as polar opposite. Hard-edged, do-it-yourself music, punk rock was just about always angry. It was a revolution. No one had ever heard music like it before. The songs were short, fast, and to the point. They made angry statements about politics, classism, and other prominent issues. And if you didn't like it, it wasn't long before the song was over anyway. This game changer in the music business began as early as the 60s. It began with bands like the Sonics, the Stooges, Question Mark and the Mysterians, MC5 and the Velvet Underground. Most of these bands never achieved commercial success, but helped begin the musical revolution that exploded in the 70s. In 1974 and 1975, punk rock exploded across the world in a resounding bang that could be heard from the U.S. to England and almost everywhere in between. Two of the best-known punk bands, The Ramones and The Sex Pistols, both sold their first album that year. The Talking Heads, The Stranglers, The Addicts, The Undertones, The Suicide Commandos, and The Runaways were other bands that formed during that same year. But it didn't stop there. The Clash, The Dead Boys, The Cramps, Generation X, The Lurkers, Metal Urban, X-Ray Specs, Black Flag, The Misfits, Skydiver, The Ruts, The Descendants, and Social Distortion all came about from 1976 to 1980. These bands continued the classic punk style of angry satirical music. Many of the band's names contained swear words, which led to a shunning from the music business and an outcry for censorship. The reaction to punk rock was very divided along age lines. Younger people with less money were more likely to appreciate the music. It gave them an outlet to attack the problems that they couldn't anywhere else. Older groups were opposed to the music. They called it vulgar and disgraceful. The large corporations pushing the mainstream also opposed punk. This opposition led to many attempts and many successes at censoring the music. Punks had to deal with much opposition, but more often than not, the opposition fed the fire that fueled their angry music that was so loved by the young people of the time. Censorship had the reverse effect of that desire. It just made punks angrier and louder. Punk changed the music industry for the better. It gave people the initiative to make their own music. Punk spawned hundreds of subgenres. From pop punk to art punk to Celtic punk to hardcore punk, 
to skate punk, to ska punk, to new wave punk, to techno punk. Punk ignited hundreds of genres. The types of punk music we hear coming about today are a bit different from the original, but they still have the same birthplace. As well as music, punk created a completely new style. Punks wore outrageous hairstyles and clothes simply to stand out, to be different. Things like safety pins were common in use as jewelry, just to show off to the world how little they cared about what anyone else thought. Punk became a word that didn't just describe a type of music or someone's way of dressing, but it described their entire persona. Someone hardcore or cool. It could be used like, you pierced your ears with a safety pin? That is so punk rock. Punk music was a revolution that opened up music to a wider range of people. It changed the face of the industry forever. The mixed reactions of love and hatred towards punk made it even more memorable. Punk reformed the music industry with dozens of new variations on a genre, as well as an entirely new style and attitude. One Saturday I took a walk to zip her head.